All right, August 6th. We're not even into the peak of hurricane season quite yet, but let's talk about this here, guys. Welcome back to Brightside here on 10 Tampa Bay. We are your hurricane headquarters. We want to keep you posted on what's going on out there. Obviously relatively calm right now, but like I said, we're actually not into the peak of hurricane season quite yet. The peak really begins between August 10th lasting all the way through the month of September. Technically, the peak of hurricane season is September 10th, but here we are, nine names into the 2020 hurricane season, with obviously the last one being Isaias, and which was a Category 1 hurricane. Uh, Colorado State and the team up there at uh, Colorado State University, they issued their updated forecast for the 2020 hurricane season, and now they're saying 24 name storms are possible for the season. Now this already includes those nine named storms that we've already seen. So that means we could see 15 more named storms. And one of the reasons they're expecting that warmer than normal conditions there over the tropical Atlantic. That's one reason also expecting a La Nina to develop, which La Nina conditions favor tropical development between August and January. We are expecting a La Nina to develop, and that would mean less wind shear out in the Atlantic, and that would favor the development of uh, tropical systems. Right now we are tracking an area of low pressure that has a 10% chance of developing over the next five days. We're also keeping an eye on a few other tropical waves right now, not expecting those systems to develop, but obviously any tropical wave this time of year could have the potential to development right now. No worries from those tropical waves.